Hey guys, it's Brandon here again at Babe Extreme. Um, bringing you another hardware review today. Um, I've seen a few reviews on them already. Um, and of course, uh, Inikin uh, does a fantastic job manufacturing uh, their eSig products. Um, but of course, there's always going to be some form of knockoff. So, I actually have one of the knockoffs. Um, this one here, uh, I received it from another China supplier. Um, and I've already kind of opened it up just to kind of take a look at it and, uh, and uh, you know, just kind of see what it looked like. But this one here is the iWand. Okay, so it's built on pretty much the same basis as uh, the eye taste um, in pretty much almost every way, shape, and form. Um, now, this is basically your entry level style um, variable voltage uh, e sig device. Um, now it's not as versatile as the Z-Max, um, and it's not quite as adjustable as the uh, as the Proveri, but it does have um, the flexibility because of the fact that you can adjust your voltages from 3.3 volts to 5 volts. Um, so within that voltage range, even for most. Um, I'm not well. Even for most experienced vapors, um, 3.3 to 5 volts is a pretty decent range to be in. Um, anything from 5 volts and up, um, you know, you're generally using some pretty high-resisted uh, equipment, um, and you're specially ordering um, anything that high resistance for uh, for vaping at uh, five and a volt, five and above voltage. Um, so. This one here is actually kind of neat. Um, it comes in three different colors. Uh, I'm just going to put it back together. Oops. Just want to put it back together here real quick in the way that it came. Um, so you can get it in a variety of colors. Um, there's basically there's a chameleon, a black, and a white um, that you can get this particular eye wand in. Um, but it does actually look very similar in pretty much every way, shape, or form to the actual uh, the Inican eye taste. Um, it's basically a pen style device. Um, you know, it's uh, branded with the eye wand. Um, it has the uh, one-way mirror um, at the bottom for the display. Uh, and then it has the two plus and minus buttons uh, at the side. Uh, and then of course your, uh, your firing button here. Um, it's been performing quite well. Um, the nice part about the actual kit that you get, um, it's pretty complete um, in the fact that you don't have to order any extra adapters. One of the major um, issues when I actually first saw the eye taste, um, I was always concerned because you, you know, you were spending um, anywhere between, uh, I want to say, some vendors had them for like 80 or 90 dollars uh, in that price range um, and because it uses a well the actually sorry the actual eye taste uses a uh, kind of like an ego c style uh, atomizer device as in do you have one ah there we go um, as in the fact that it actually uses uh, a separate atomizer base. Um, I've modded this one for for dripping purposes, of course. Um, but it actually, the actual eye taste uses um, its own propri proprietary connection um, with the uh, basically atomizer head style device, um, and then it actually uses its own tanks, um, which is okay. Um, I know a lot of manufacturers are kind of trying to keep their devices flexible um, and then there's some companies that are trying to make it so that you have to buy their product. If you really like the company that's okay um, but I personally 
I like to be able to use a variety of different uh, vaping toys, as I like to say. Um, you know, like I'll I vape on VV Novas, uh, which is a standard 510. Um, I use Genesis, Genesis style devices, uh, which uses a 510. Um, I have uh, 808 uh, clearomizers, 808 uh, cartomizers. Um, I have 901 atomizers. Um, so I, I, I like to be able to use a variety of different uh, of different devices, I guess. And with the eye taste, you were pretty much, you know, you when you originally ordered the kit in, what you got is what you had to use. Um, if you had anything above and beyond that, you had to buy adapters. Um, now I know that some of the kits and some of the vendors now, um, you can buy like the deluxe kit where it comes with um, a 510 adapter plus it has the, or 510 adapter and a, a couple other ones, the 510 and the 808 and then there's a couple other goofy connections in there. Um, and then of course it came with your uh, your regular tank style um, device. The iWand is basically the same idea. Um, the nice part is, is it doesn't actually use um, the tank style per se. Uh, what it actually uses is a, see if I can get you to be able to see that. It basically uses like a CE2 style. Um, which is nice because they are really easy to fill. Basically, you just pull the top off, and there's a <laughs> there's a large uh, you know pick corner. You can basically fill it through a corner, so it's nice in that aspect. Um, and then it's got a nice big rubber gasket at the top, uh, or not rubber, sorry. It's uh, kind of like a silicone gasket, um, and then it just actually fits right over top of the head um, and makes a really nice seal across the top. Now it does have its own proprietary connection, like the like the eye taste. Um, there's uh, two small pins that you can see there, uh, and then of course in the bottom of the battery, there's uh, your your connection pins. So that's neither here nor there. Um, the nice part about the actual I Wand kit is because, in my opinion, the 510 connection is basically you know, standard across the board. Um, I, I'd probably say about 75 to 80 percent of your devices are generally in a 510 connection of some sort, one way or another. The nice part about the iWan kit is their 510 connection um, actually has um, the Ego threads on the outside, plus it also has the 510. So if you're using any of your um, Ego cones. Uh, you don't need to buy an Ego adapter to uh, to be able to use it. Actually, you don't need an adapter. Period. It just actually threads right on, right? Um, and if you're actually using the ones, the devices where you have the threads on the outside and there's just a center post, like the actual Ego threads, um, you can still use them. It's 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 nice that way because it makes the unit that much more versatile. Um, and with being able to adjust the voltage from 3.3 volts to 5 volts, this is actually a neat little device. <coughs> now, I've only had this for a couple days. I haven't tried the CE2 style yet, um, just mainly due to the fact that I'm, you know, besides the VV Nova, I'm not really a big CE2 um, or Stardust or whatever. I'm not really a big fan of them. Um, I find, for some strange reason, the VV Novas for me just perform better. I'm not sure if it's because I built the coils or whatever the deal is, but I find they perform really well. Um, now, the nice part about this, it, like I said, it, it's pretty much identical to uh, the eye taste, um, as in it's got the three uh, click on and off. So it'll give you a little light show, it goes red. Um, uh -huh. I was thinking yellow, but it's not yellow. Um, it actually goes red, green, and blue. Um, that's actually your battery indication uh, as well. It also informs you that the uh, the unit's powering on or powering off. Um, but it's a three-click on and off. 
Um, basically, blue is fully charged, green's medium, uh, red, run to a charger, plug, get her plugged in and ready to go. Um, now, unfortunately, one of the goofiest things that people from Japan are incorporating in, or China, sorry, uh, that are incorporating into e-cigs is the puff counter. I don't care how many puffs I've had throughout the day. It, it's it, it's useless knowledge to me because I don't really care. I'm not going to go. Oh my God! I've had 57 puffs today. I, I better I better set this down and, and not vape anymore. That's, that's it's beyond me. I don't know why they put them on there. Um, it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, but there is a puff counter on it, unfortunately, um, and it's, you know, basically you click either plus or minus, it tells you that I've had 18 puffs off it, and right now I'm vaping it at 5 volts. And the reason I was vaping it at 5 volts is because I had a tank on it, and apparently I've set it down and lost it. Oh, there it is. Um, now it is a really light device, uh, which is nice. It uses a 650 milliamp hour battery, so it's basically the same same as your uh, as your Ego styles, um, just of course variable voltage up to uh, five volts, and they vape really well. When you turn them on, <laughs> that might work a little better. Strawberry from Flavor Crafters, fantastic juice, by the way. Um, but yeah, it, it actually vapes really well. Um, so you can also check the atomizer um, resistance on it as well, um, and then it'll give you a recommended uh, voltage. What I seem, or what I've kind of noticed uh, with devices that kind of run along that basis, the resistance is always lower than, or sorry, the recommended voltage is generally a lot lower than what you'd probably actually want to vape it at. Um, like I clicked on this um, and it was reading out at uh, 2.8 ohms and it was telling me to vape it at around um, 4.2 volts. Well, I generally like to vape it around 5, 5.2 volts in that area, but Even set up to the max at five volts, um, it, it's still a satisfying vape. It's not, you know, out of this world fantastic by any means, but it is actually a really decent vape. So, guys, if you're looking for um, kind of a an inexpensive, um, well, I know there's other inexpensive like the Ego Twist. Um, but it only goes up to 4.8, so not like the 0.2 voltage is a huge difference, but it actually it does make a pretty substantial difference in your vaping. Um, but if you're looking for something fairly, fairly inexpensive um, and kind of a, a neat little kit, this one here is actually in the Chameleon, and you're not going to be able to see this, um, but it's actually nice because it does change color in the lights uh, depending on which angle you hold it on, so it's kind of flashy that way. Um, I also have one in black as well. Um, and it's it's actually got the rubberized finish, so it's kind of nice that way. So, guys, the eye wand, I wand, I'd give it a thumbs up. Um, one thing I don't like is the proprietary connection, but I do like the fact that they give you the 510 adapter with the Ego threads. So, even if you wanted to, uh, throw a tank skirt on there um, and use it with a tank skirt, uh, you can do so. So there you go. Um, this is kind of a small tank skirt for the tank I have, but my other ones are in the house. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's nice in that way because of the fact that you can literally use pretty much any 510 threaded device um, and and you're good to go. Uh, the only thing that I have noticed is that if you have the 510 connection on it, you have to take it off to be able to put it back in its pen format. Nitpicking, I guess. 
Um, the pen top to me is useless to begin with, so I can't really even see myself taking it off and then putting it in my pocket. It has the on-off, which is great. I don't use it anyway. Um, it is a fairly um, flat button, so you probably wouldn't have to worry about it too much firing in your pocket. Um, and it is a nice clicky response um, in that aspect as well, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, guys, if you're looking for a neat little device, um, the iWand or the iTaste, I'd definitely check it out. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, that's all I got for you today. So, uh, as always, let's keep on vaping.